Hey guys, this is Phil Ebener back with Video School Online's After Effects course. I hope you're enjoying the lesson so far. I hope I'm not going too fast or too slow, but just right. And I hope you're just learning a lot and excited for the rest of the lessons because we got so much more to cover. Um, After Effects is crazy, insanely uh, confusing, but also awesome at the same time. So, in this lesson, I just want to show you quickly how to place your footage on the timeline and uh, the basic edits or, or ways to edit your, your layers. Um, so, previously I had imp imported some textures, so I'm just going to show you how to place them on your timeline. So, you can just click and drag and drop them on your timeline down here like so. Then, as you can see, it placed it on my timeline, but I want to move it so that it is at the start of my timeline. I can also just stretch out the end by going to the the end of the clip and clicking and dragging when you see the double arrow sided arrows. So now I have my brick wall. I can also I'm just gonna delete this by clicking on it and pressing delete can also just click and drag and drop it right here in the middle of the composition. So now I have this layer. Um, and so the basic edits, uh, well, with your your pointer tool or your selection tool, you can, you know, change the size of it. Um, you can move it around. Uh, you can rotate it with the rotate tool. Um, and then the last basic thing is opacity. But another way to get to all of these edits, editing options, is on the timeline. And in the next lesson, we're going to go over more about all these different things. But for now, let's just, on our brick wall layer, click this triangle, which brings down another option called transform. I'm going to click that tri triangle next to transform and we have a few different options. So as we move this around, you will see these numbers change for position. If you uh, increase the size, you will see the size change as well. So 16% to 86.5%. Or if I just squeeze it, you'll see it's 21% and 86.5%. If I rotate it, you know, you get the point. It rotates. You can also edit these these numbers and, or the positions by just m ch clicking and dragging these numbers or clicking and typing in a number. And this is really nice when you are when you just want to move something along the y axis or the x axis. Uh, access, uh, axis, sorry, um, and you don't want to like mess around with the other axis. So um, you can play with the position, you can play with the anchor point, which uh, again you can change with the pan behind tool, you can play with the scale, you can play with the rotation, and here you can play with the opacity um, which is pretty cool so um, this also you can use hotkeys to bring these up and so we're getting a little bit into the timeline but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it right now so say you don't have this um, drop-down menu open say it's just like this if you have this layer selected and you press S it will bring up scale and then you can edit scale that way. If you press R, it will bring up rotation. And you can edit the rotation. P will bring up the position. A will bring up the anchor point. And T will bring up opacity. Also, you can re remember T for transparency. And edit it that way. And so that is how you add layers to your timeline um, 
here I'll add another layer to show you. So this one is really big. So I'm going to bring up the scale size function and you know decrease the size of this. Maybe I'll rotate both of them so I can select both by pressing shift and selecting the other one or command and selecting both. Press R and you can rotate both at the same time. And then I'll just move one to the left side of the screen and one to the right side of the screen. So that, you know, this could be the beginning of some sort of, of video. Next lesson, I'm going to talk more about the timeline and all these other functions. But for now, I think you get the point um, of how to place footage and your basic edits. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.